All right, so I wanted to show an example of normal variance that could affect the superior labrum and antero superior labrum. Here, I wanted to show an example of a sublabral foramen. On this uh, sagittal sequence, you could see eventually the, the hole that will be formed, um, otherwise known as the sublabral foramen, which is a deep to this antero superior labrum, which is migrated off of the glenoid and rejoined at the mid glenoid. Um, what this looks like in the axial plane. Um, here we could see the biceps labral anchor. Here's the biceps coming in, inserting on the superior labrum. I go one slice beneath that and I'm seeing the superior labrum. And then as I migrate more inferiorly, um, we could see uh, like a defect occurring at this antero superior chondrolabral junction, which temporarily widens as I go more inferiorly. And then as I go even more inferiorly, it seals back up where the labrum rejoins at the anterior mid glenoid. Um, so the, the important aspect here is to realize that you're looking at a normal variant. Um, a sublabral foramen, rather than thinking that you're looking at an antero superior labral tear. Um, I'd emphasize that when you're dealing with slap tears, it, it would be unusual to, for it to just involve the antero superior labrum without having any posterior extension. Um, so definitely combine your sagittal and axial images to try to um, solidify the, the situation. Um, another pathology um, with a normal variant involving that antero superior labrum is the Buford complex. Here's an example of a patient with a Buford complex. In the, in the sagittal projection, we could see that this uh, thickened middle glenohumeral ligament um, communicates completely with the superior labrum. And we could see that, um, you know, this, that this labrum is kind of um, um, circumferentially involving the glenoid with absence of the antero superior labrum, um, where we just have this middle glenohumeral ligament um, thickening, communicating directly with the superior labrum. Um, what this looks like on our axial plane is we could see this uh, thickened cord-like middle glenohumeral ligament um, communicating with our superior labrum. And then as we follow it inferiorly, we could see that there's absence of the anterior superior labrum. Um, and eventually we see that we, we could find the labrum again at this like anterior mid aspect of the glenoid right here. Um, so the combination of a thickened middle glenohumeral ligament and absence of the anterior superior labrum is a normal variant um, referred to as a Buford variant or a Buford complex.